Okay, a quick lesson about dividing um, ellipses in perspective. Uh, I have here a circle and around it is drawn a square and the square is divided. Now, what I want to do is I want to, when I'm dividing an, a circle in perspective, an ellipse, I want to use the fact that we know that the middle, the perspective middle, is a little bit higher than the symmetrical middle. So I'm just going to draw a point there. Um, and then I'm going to choose an angle, any angle, and I'm going to draw a line through that point. Once I've got that, I want to basically, I've drawn this line. So now I just want to draw these two lines. And these lines, of course, are going to be in perspective. So they need to touch that point. Um, and they also need to converge. So I'm going to just... Give it a go. See how I go. So I'm trying to touch that point and I'm trying to basically draw a plane in perspective. Um, once I've got those two lines, I can draw another line in this direction through here, through the middle. And then I can draw another line in this direction and another line in this direction. Um, so that gives me the basis for a, a division of a, a, a circle in perspective and ellipse. Um, of course, if I want to continue, you know, if I want to divide a cylinder shape, if it was a cylinder shape, then I would have had, of course, the rotational axis here. The ellipse on the top would have been a little bit flatter. Um, and then I was, it's basically just a matter of following through. So I say the point was there, I'm going to draw a line in this direction. That will define a plane down in this direction. Um, and in that way I could divide this up. So um, let's say I want to take half off uh, here. another ellipse and now I can actually cut half of this out Oops. so making a distinction between construction lines and heavier lines for you know edges So in that way, you can uh, actually divide a shape up, circular shape, into basic forms. And 